Okay, this video is going to compare the luggage capacity of the 2018 Goldwing to this 2022 BMW KGTL, uh, K1600 GTL. So let's take a look. Um, I've opened up the saddlebags here on the Goldwing and the trunk. I've got everything emptied out other than the uh, the little carpet in here. I also removed, this is what I normally carry, first aid kit, tire inflator, uh, jump starter, and uh, some tools here in the saddlebag lids. I removed those to give it a fair comparison. Now I've already got the GTL packed up the way it was on my last road trip. And I'm gonna see if everything that was in the GTL will fit in the gold wing. So let's check it out. Okay, so first I'm gonna take a look at what we have loaded up in this BMW K1600 GTL. Uh, this was for my last road trip. I had the laptop, which was down here uh, in a case. I had some microfiber cloths and I have this little water bottle. I use this to clean the windshield uh, when I'm riding on a road trip. So I just keep some microfibers here somewhere on the bike. Doesn't have to be in the trunk. I have an ice chest where I keep bottled water. So I'll keep like two or three bottles of uh, water in here on ice. And no trouble getting this trunk to close with all this in here. I know right now the ice chest is in the way, but I can move it over and it will close. But you'll notice that the ice chest kind of has to sit up on top of this laptop. And the laptop will not fit the other way. So it has to go in sideways. I also have a, a tripod that I carry with me in case I need to shoot any pictures or video. Now in the left saddlebag, what I have, and these saddlebags do open differently than on the Goldwing. First we have to hit the release and you have this little handle here. And I always like to put my leg right next to this cover because this just falls open. It does not have a damper to prevent it from just falling open. So if you have anything heavy in that lid, like I do, I have the bike cover. I don't want it just to come crashing down and potentially uh, snap this little thing. That's all that's holding it there. So here I have a bike cover. This is a full bike cover, which I don't ever use on a Goldwing, but I did have it on in this uh, luggage. I'm gonna set it up here on the seat for now. I have a Eagle Creek packable with my clothes. I have another Eagle Creek packable over here with some electronics, chargers. Uh, I think I have another GoPro in there, some other stuff, all packed up. So that's in this saddlebag, and it was pretty full. Let's go over to the other side, and I'll uh, release it. And over here, I have a, this is the liner for my riding jacket. Set it up here on the seat. Uh, this was an extra Lidlocks that Lidlocks sent me for my road trip. Didn't, didn't need to use that. I have a pair of tennis shoes in a, in a plastic bag, along with some other uh, medications and things. I'll just pull that out, set it up here on the seat. And then I have another one of these Eagle Creek packables. And I was keeping my uh, dirty clothes uh, in here. You know, anytime I took something off, I would keep it in this. And there's some other stuff in there too. So that was pretty full. One thing I do like about the BMW luggage is it has these nice little elastic to hold everything tight. So that was in the saddlebag. There's also some other stuff from BMW, like a owner's manual, just some little stuff here. So I'll just leave that there for now. Now let's see how much of this I can get into the Goldwing, if any. And this, this saddlebag was, or this uh, pannier, whatever you want to call it, was pretty full as well. Probably have a little more room if I needed it. Okay, let's do the right saddlebag first, which is the smaller of the two. I'm gonna start with my Eagle Creek clothing bag. 
and because that will kind of shape to this shape here it's kind of soft and it will kind of scrunch up in there so we'll get that in there and this Eagle Creek bag which has all my electronic gear will fit right there and I think I might be able to get the bike cover to go in the lid. Let's see if I can get this to close. Yes, it will close. Okay, so, or will it open? Yeah, okay. So I was able to get the bike cover, one of the Eagle Creek, or two of the Eagle Creeks, and the bike cover to fit in here, which I never carry a full bike cover with me on the Gold Wing, but that's what I had on the BMW. So let's see how we can get the other saddlebag. Okay, so saddlebag wise, all I have left, I have this Eagle Creek, which had my dirty clothes, and it, it'll kind of shape up to this rear too. Not quite as much as the uh, as the other Eagle Creek. Then I've got my tennis shoes here, which will go up in here. And I have my liner, jacket liner, which I normally roll it up. I just have it un unrolled right now. And I'll even throw that extra set of lid locks in there to see if that will go, since that was part of the mix. Okay, so saddlebag to saddlebag. Everything I was carrying on the GTL has fit into the gold wing. Let's check out the trunk. Okay, here is my, my laptop, which uh, is gonna go in there. And then the ice chest fits next to it. And you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the ice chest in the Goldwing does not have to sit up on the laptop like it does in the BMW, which is interesting. It's almost as if this trunk, and I will measure it, it's almost as if it's a little bit wider. Isn't that wild? And it also doesn't stick up as high. And this is a 2018 Goldwing pretty interesting here's my water bottle it sits right there my uh, microfiber cloths can sit here I can even throw my cap in there no problem so for this last road trip that I did I can fit everything into the the 2018 GL 1800 that I had in the K1600 GTL and the K1600 GTL was pretty fully packed now, no question, those saddlebags are deeper on that BMW. You can actually fit a helmet inside the saddlebag, but you can't fit a helmet in the saddlebags on the Goldwing. So let's try putting a helmet in the trunk on that BMW because I cannot fit my HJC Cymax helmet sitting up in this trunk. The, the lid will hit the trunk. I can't do it. I have to lay it on its side. I wanna see if I can do that in the BMW. Okay, this uh, BMW trunk sits up so high, it's actually higher than my tripod will go, so I can't show you down inside. But I'm gonna try to set this in here. It's maybe not a fair comparison because I have this GoPro mount on the front of the helmet, and that prevents the helmet from sitting, you know, at a good angle. Let me see if I can take this off. Maybe that will make it a little fair. Okay, let's pull that off. And now let's set it. No, it will not quite sit in there. Flush. That's about as good as I can get that direction. Okay, that will shut. Barely. I can feel it hitting. But it will shut. It will shut. So that's good. Let me go get Ricky's helmet and see if I can get both of them in here. Okay, she's got a little bit smaller three-quarter helmet. It's a, an Arai, I think it's a medium, or maybe a small. No, it's not gonna go. 
Mine is a large HJC Cymax 2. And let me try. Let me try turning this the other way and see if it will go. Maybe it has to be this direction. Oh, no, that doesn't feel good either. Let's see if that will shut. No, that won't shut that way. So I don't, I don't right off the bat see a way to get both helmets in here because that's not going to fit. It almost has to go face shield facing out. Let me try that right there. Maybe that'll work. Nope, it won't shut with it like that. It has to be at an angle for this helmet to get it to shut. And if it and it's still tight, it still hits the top of the helmet, but it kind of pushes it. it. It gets it in there. It will fit. It's just not well. <laughs> and also, I think what it is is the just the way this BMW trunk is shaped. I don't know why, but it just doesn't seem as wide. Now I'm going to take some measurements and see. And I want to remind you that the Honda Goldie, this is the 2018 model, the 2021 and later has an even wider and deeper and taller trunk. So with the newer trunk on the newer Goldwing, I'm confident I could get both helmets. I know I can get one helmet standing up in here and I'm thinking I could maybe get two. As soon as I get my hands on a 2021 or 2022, I'm gonna put that to the test. But I feel pretty confident that I'll be able to get two helmets in that Goldwing trunk or top box, whichever you prefer. But as you can see, that ice chest fits next to that laptop. And it does not fit next to the laptop in the BMW. So, Anyway, that's a little comparison of the panniers and the top box on both bikes. Now, as far as other storage, you have a couple of little storage cubbies over here, which uh, do lock. Uh, they're big enough for a few, maybe some little tools. Uh, I have a, a bar end weight here that I removed when I put on this lid locks. So you could put pocket knives, a Leatherman, something like that in there, just little pieces. What I do like about it is they lock on both sides. They have locks and they're part of the central locking system. And they have one of those on each side of the bike. There's another one over here. I've got a uh, Torx tool and also a, uh, a Allen wrench tool plus another lid locks stored in here. So it holds a little bit, you know, it's okay. So you've got those, both of which lock. On the Goldwing, you have, I think maybe a little better cubby storage. You've got this here, which is lockable. And I keep a flashlight and a Leatherman tool in here. And then you also have the center pocket. Now you do not have this on the airbag model but on the uh, non-airbag model, you have this center pocket, which is where you put your cell phone. You can put tissues and a few other things, you know, maybe some sunscreen. I have a little, a little emergency flashlight I keep in here. I have a little bag of different uh, connectors and stuff. So you can, you can put a few little things in here. So that gives you an overview, a comparison of the storage capacity of this 2022 K1600 GTL compared to the 2018 plus Honda Goldwing.